welcome back to my channel so let's make some delicious chocolate cake in my large mixing bowl i'm going to add three eggs and after that i'll add some sugar to it then use my hand mixer to frost it the essence of doing this is to give my cake this perfect frothy texture After frosting my egg and sugar together, I'll go ahead to add in one and a half cup of all people's flour. Make sure you sieve it to remove any unwanted particles. And after that, I'll add some baking powder, baking soda, and sugar. Then I'll go ahead to sieve in my powdered chocolate. Next, I'm going to use my hand mixer to whisk and make sure that everything is properly mixed and combined together. So for this recipe, I'm using vegetable oil instead of butter. I'll go ahead to add the vegetable oil and add some of my liquid milk to it. After that, I'll keep on mixing. Please, my lovely people, if today is your first time of visiting this channel, don't forget to subscribe. To my old subscribers and all my returning viewers, thank you so much and please don't forget to like, comment and share this video. Next I'm going to add few drops of vanilla essence and also add some warm water to it and after that I will continue mixing until I get a perfect batter for my cake. And one more thing guys, make sure you do not over mix your batter. After everything is properly mixed and combined together, I'm going to go ahead to transfer my cake batter into my baking pan for baking. Make sure you do not add too much of the batter into your baking pan to avoid the cake popping out and creating a mess in your oven. While transferring your batter into your baking pan, go ahead to preheat the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes and after that, transfer the cake into your oven and allow it to bake for 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, I'm going to go ahead to take out the cake out from the oven and after that, I will insert in a toothpick if the toothpick come out dried and clean, it means your cake is well baked. If not, you can take in back your cake and bake until it is well baked. Guys, can you see how delicious and yummy the cake look like? I'm going to go ahead to cut the cake and enjoy with my family. So, if you are planning to frost your cake, make sure you allow it to cool down before you do that. Thanks for watching guys. See you all in my next video. Bye.